All right, welcome to Slow Flow Yoga. And for today's practice, we are going to take a little bit of a shorter amount of time, about 45 minutes today, and really focusing on rejuvenating the body and we'll spend a little extra time in resting postures at the end of class. So let's begin then in standing pose, mountain pose with our feet right underneath our hips, and our posture nice and tall, arms relaxing by our sides. And let's either soften our gaze or close our eyes. And begin to tune in with our breath. As we feel the breath moving through our body, let's notice how our body feels as we breathe. Feeling the expansion and release with each inhale and exhale. Hearing that gentle whispery sound of our breath. And allowing our breath now to slow down a little bit, taking a little more time for each inhale and a little more time for each exhale. And let's allow our breath to stay with this deeper, slower pace. And let's take a scan of our bodies. Noticing how everything feels today. And taking into account if we're recovering from any illness or injury or have any special concerns. And choosing today as always to honor our bodies as we move and as we breathe. With our next inhale, let's reach arms overhead and as we exhale, let's draw hands through our heart center. And let's continue this, keeping a nice slow pace. Nice big, long inhales and long, complete exhales. And a couple more. And last one. Let's reach our arms overhead again, and this time leave them overhead and add a little reach. We're stretching out one side and then the other. And back to the center again. Let's swan dive and fold it all the way in. Bringing our hands to the floor and stepping back so we're on hands and knees. And let's begin to go through a few cat cows. Inhaling, opening the front of the body for cow stretch. And exhaling, rounding it out for cat. And let's keep that moving with that nice deep breath. And 
one more. And returning to neutral spine, let's engage through the core and reach in the spinal balance, pressing one heel back and the opposite fingertips reaching forward, maintaining that nice lift through the middle and bringing it back to the mat and switching opposite leg and hand reaching and bringing it back to the mat again. And let's continue that switching sides with each breath, feeling that nice lift through the core muscles. And let's do one more for each side. And now pressing back into child's pose. Resting our hips back and letting our forehead rest on the mat or on top of stacked hands or fists. And taking some nice deep breaths here, feeling our ribs expand out toward our legs with each inhale. Now let's actively reach forward through our arms, extending our elbows, taking a little dip from side to side. Let's feel that stretch along the back of the shoulder. Now back to the center. Now walking hands over to the right as we relax down through both sides of the rib cage and taking two breaths into the left side. Coming back through the center and walking hands over to the left, relaxing down through the right rib cage and two deep breaths into the right side. Come back to the middle again. Keeping our elbows extended and fingers spreading wide, let's pull forward into kneeling plank. Feeling that nice lift through the core muscles and sending it back to child's pose. And let's do a few of these, inhaling as we pull forward and exhaling as we press back. Just a couple more here. And the next time we press back to child's, let's slide our hands forward for puppy pose, letting our hips rise away from our heels and letting our chest relax for the floor. And drawing our hands a step back toward the body, tucking our toes, let's lift our hips up for down dog, taking a moment here to pedal it out. And pressing up high onto the balls of both feet, really stretching out the bottoms of the feet. Bending our knees a lot, let's push our hips farther away from our hands. And then taking little baby steps, let's walk our way up to the top of the mat. Coming into forward fold here, let's inhale for half lift and exhaling to release. And let's do that twice more. Inhaling half lift, exhaling to release. And one more. And relaxing it down. 
Letting our ribs rest on our legs. Let's bring fingertips to opposite elbows and begin to shift from one foot to the other. And bringing it back to the center. Releasing hands, let's nod our head yes. And shake our head no. And then let it rest. Inhaling for half lift. Feeling ourselves really press through the feet and the legs. Let's hug those core muscles in and reach wide as we press our way up and reaching overhead into mountain. And let's step back wide on the mat facing the long edge. Knees and toes pointing out, hands reaching up into five pointed star. And let's flow through moon flowers, bending at the knees, hugging elbows in, inhaling as we reach, exhaling to bend. On the next one, let's turn it into sunflowers, a big circle, a deeper hinge in the hips. And flowing through these poses, really stretching deeper into the back of the hips and into the inner thighs. And just one more. And then letting arms go by our sides. Let's pivot to face the front and step up to the top of the mat again. Inhaling as we reach overhead and swan diving to fold it in. Inhaling for half lift. Exhaling to release. Reaching wide, let's press all the way up and overhead and circling to sit into the chair and returning, arms overhead. Swan diving to fold it in, inhaling half lift and releasing. Reaching wide, let's press all the way to the top, circling as we sit into chair and to the top again. Let's do this a couple more times, folding it in, inhaling to extend, and releasing. Reaching wide up and overhead, circling the sit, returning to the top. Last round, let's fold, inhaling half lift, and releasing. Reaching wide as we come to the top, circling to sit and returning to mountain again. Letting arms relax by our sides. Let's take a moment to grab a drink or towel off, making any adjustments needed. And when we're ready, let's meet at the top of the mat. Coming back to our mountain pose, creating that strong foundation as we press down through the feet. Let's find our cactus arms, feeling the elbows reach back, the shoulder blades reaching back, feeling that nice stretch and opening across the chest. And let's step our left foot back into warrior one. Lifting and strengthening through the front of the body, pressing strong all the way through the outer edge of the back foot. And opening into warrior two. Feeling the body open up. Continuing to open the chest as we reach back through the shoulders. And 
And let's take our hands to the mat and step it back into downward facing dog. Taking another moment here to pedal it out, allowing those calves to get a nice good stretch here. One more time, pressing up high onto the balls of both feet. And then relaxing heels down. Let's walk or step to the top of the mat. Inhaling to half lift. Let's feel ourselves shifting forward and back in the feet. And then finding a place where we're right in the middle. And lifting through our sitting bones to stretch the backs of the legs. Let's lift our heart forward to lengthen our spine. Taking arms to the sides and fingertips reaching back. Let's open the chest by reaching shoulder blades toward each other. And turn it into chair pose. Sweeping arms forward as hips reach deeply back. Feeling our shoulder blades releasing away from our ears. That nice lift through our core. And circling, let's press to the top. And finding cactus arms. Reaching elbows back, shoulder blades back. Enjoying that stretch across the chest. And this time our right foot steps back for warrior one. Pressing strong through the legs, lifting through the front of the body, continuing to open the chest. And taking it into warrior two, opening the face to the side. Feeling the body really open up and continuing to stretch through the chest muscles as we draw shoulders back. And taking our hands to the mat, stepping it back into downward facing dog. Let's step our feet a little wider, big toes on the mat or feet all the way outside the mat. And reaching our chest back toward the wall behind us. Letting that stretch deeper into the backs of our legs and into our shoulders. And stepping our feet back onto the mat, regular down dog. Let's release our knees down and adjust so that we have hands under shoulders, knees under hips. And then moving into a kneeling side plank. Let's rotate our left leg so that our foot just kind of kicks out to the side like a kickstand. Pressing into that left hand, let's open it up with the right. We're going to send that right leg straight back. Feeling ourselves lift tall out of that supporting arm, reaching through the foot, reaching through the crown of our head. Now let's bring that back to the mat and switch. Kicking the right foot out to the side like a kickstand, let's send that left leg straight out and open up the left arm towards the sky. Pressing and lifting tall away from that right arm. And bringing it back to the mat. Let's return to our downward facing dog. So adjusting as needed so that it feels right. Now let's step our right foot to the top for warrior two. Feeling our shoulder blades really settle down, our back hips settling down. 
allowing our body to find some ease in this pose. Now reaching backwards for reverse warrior, feeling our tailbone relax, our shoulders relax. And bringing it forward into side angle stretch. Forearm to thigh or hand to the blocker floor, perhaps letting the hips drop a little deeper as we find that nice rotation as the upper ribs and shoulder open back. Let's return to warrior two. Straightening up our front leg, let's reach back for reverse triangle, feeling that back hip relax. And again, relaxing all the way down the back, from the back of the head through the shoulders, the back muscles, the tailbone. And for triangle pose, let's bring arms to a T and tilt our hips forward. Reaching long, let's turn it over. Feeling that bottom hip tuck in as our top shoulder opens back. Feeling this nice big stretch for the hips. Nice strength work as the shoulder reaches back. And inhaling arms up to a T. Let's relax the arms and pivot to face the side with toes wide, bending deep into our knees. Let's find sun pose and reach arms out to the sides. And feel our glutes opening our knees back. Now resting hands on our legs, let's lean into the arms and give a little twist to one side. And then to the other. And back to the center. Let's press it up. Pivot to face the front. And take hands to the mat as we step back into our down dog. Taking a couple extra breaths here. Let's feel ourselves reach our chest back and reach our hips back. Letting our heels release toward the mat. And with our next inhale, let's step that left foot to the top, coming into warrior two. Feeling shoulders relax and tailbone. Breathing deep into the pose. Let's reach it back for reverse warrior. Really pressing strong into our legs, lifting tall through the front of the body. And side angle stretch or arm to thigh, or hand to the blocker floor. We may choose to deepen in the hips here as we rotate and open through the upper body. Bringing it back to the top. Let's straighten through through our front leg and reach back for reverse triangle, relaxing that back hip and feeling the entire back of the body relax, crown of the head relaxing down toward the shoulders, relaxing down toward the hips, the tailbone, softening through the legs.
bringing arms up to a T. And for our triangle pose, tilting into that front hip, reaching long, let's turn it over. Let's get that extra stretch for our hips here as we draw the bottom hip in and opening up, working through the shoulders as we draw back with our top rib cage and top shoulder. Bringing arms up to a T, letting them relax down. Let's pivot to face the side, and this time toes point forward. Let's hinge right at the hips and fold it over, bringing hands under our shoulders. Let's shift a little forward and back in the feet, feeling that stretch deepen around the hips. And then coming back to the place where it's pretty even between the front and back of the foot. And let's allow ourselves to relax toward the floor, letting our head hang down and our hands underneath our body or reaching to the sides of the feet or even reaching behind our legs. And bringing our hands under our shoulders again, let's walk it around to face the front of the mat and step back for our final down dog. Let's shift forward into plank and back, back to down dog. And let's do that twice more. And the next time we press back to down dog, let's stay. Letting our chest really reach back toward our legs. And then a baby step forward with our feet and back with our hands. Forward with our feet and back with our hands till we get somewhere close to the middle of the mat. Now let's inhale for half lift. Feeling yourselves lengthen through the spine. Nice deep knee bend. Let's reach wide as we press to the top and overhead. And then relaxing arms by our sides. Bringing hands to our heart center. Let's check in with our feet. They're right under our hips. And let's soften our gaze or close our eyes and shift forward and back in the feet. And bringing it back to the center, let's shift from side to side. And back to the center again. And now let's shift through a big circle, forward into our toes and over to one side, back toward our heels and over to the other side. And let's do one more of those. And then let's take that circle the other direction. And let's do a second one this direction. And as we come back to our toes again, let's recenter front to back and side to side in our feet. Inhaling, let's reach overhead. And swan diving, let's fold it in. Stepping back onto hands and knees again. Drawing a big figure eight with our shoulders and hips. Let's do another. And then switch the direction. Now one more. And back to the middle again. 
Now let's find our way to seated, resting over onto a hip, and if we like, placing blanket or pillow or block under the hips. And let's come into butterfly pose. Allowing the knees to rest open and our spine lifting tall out of our hips. Let's pause here and refocus on our breath for a moment. If we notice our breath has sped up over the course of the class or maybe isn't as deep as it was in the beginning, let's come back to that deeper, slower breath. With our next inhale, let's lengthen through the spine. And as we exhale, leaning toward our toes, stretching a little deeper into our hips. With our next inhale, let's bring it to the top. And let's allow our legs to cross in the front, easy seated posture, hands resting on our legs. Let's feel ourselves lift nice and tall with our inhale, and then taking a little twist to the right. Let's feel our sternum lift as our right ribs and shoulder draw back. And coming through the center, inhaling nice and tall and exhaling as we twist to the left. Feeling the body lift as the shoulder and ribs reach back. And returning to the center. And let's cross our legs the other way, putting the other leg in front. And inhaling nice and tall. Let's twist to the left again, lifting through the heart center, relaxing back and down with the left shoulder and ribs. Inhaling the center and exhaling to the right, feeling that length all along the spine. And back to the middle again. All right, let's come back to our butterfly posture, soles of our feet together, and this time pressing down with our hands on either side of our hips. Let's lift tall through the body and then bring our chin toward our chest. With our next exhale, we may want to tuck that chin up and in a little more, stretching a little deeper around the back of the neck. and then bringing it back to the top. Let's release our hands and let's take our gaze over one shoulder. Through the center and over the other shoulder. And back to the center again. And releasing our right ear toward our right shoulder. Feeling that left shoulder relax down toward the floor, increasing this stretch here along the left side of the neck. Bringing it through the top and then left ear to left shoulder. You'll feel that right shoulder dropping down, deepening the stretch. And back to the top again. Now then, let's come off of our support if we have it and move it over to the side. And let's all scoot forward on our mats and taking hands behind a knee, let's roll down onto our backs 
and bringing both knees toward our chest. Let's relax our shoulders toward the mat. And allow all of the muscles along the sides of our back to relax toward the floor. Now releasing our feet to the mat, let's place hands under hips. So we're sitting on the backs of our hands and lift our legs up into the air for a variation on legs up the wall. And adjust as needed so we're able to rest with as little effort as possible here. Just allowing our legs to rest into the hips. And bending our knees, let's put our feet back down on the mat. And let's find a restful version of bridge pose. So we can choose to stay in this version if we like, with our hips resting on the backs of our hands. Or if we do have blanket or pillow nearby or a yoga block, we can rest our hips on top of a support. And as we find this restorative version of bridge pose, we want to adjust so that there's no pressure in our low back curve, that our support is right underneath our sacrum and hips. And once we find that spot, then let's allow our hips to rest away from our femur. If we like, we might even place our hands at the tops of our legs right at the crease of the hip and just give a little gentle pressure pushing our legs away from our hips just a little bit. And then letting that release. And let's enjoy the restfulness of this posture for a few breaths. One more breath here. And then removing whatever support we have, letting our hips rest back down on the floor. And just noticing how the low back feels against the floor. Hopefully it feels a little more relaxed, a little more at ease. Now let's draw our knees to chest again, giving a little rock from side to side. And coming back to the center, taking arms out, out to the sides like a T or like cactus arms and knees dropping over to the right. Gentle twist here. Sending a couple of breaths into the left ribs. Even down into the left waist. Coming back through the center and knees over to the left. And taking a couple deep breaths here into the right ribs. And deepening down into the right waist.
And back to the center again. Drawing knees to chest, giving a little hug into the center. And then releasing feet to the mat. Let's separate our feet a little wider and let our knees rest toward each other. If it's too much pressure on our knees, we can always bring those feet closer together. If we like the stretch and want more, we can separate our feet wider as long as our knees think it's okay. And then pointing our knees up at the ceiling again. Let's keep our feet wide, but allow our knees to drop over to the right. And coming through the center and over to the left. So they're sort of making a windshield wiper motion from side to side. Allowing a little deeper stretch through the hips and the quads. And back to the center again. One last time, drawing knees to chest and hugging it in. And stretching it out for final relaxation. Allowing our feet to rest hip width or mat width or wider. With our feet dropping open, Arms resting a few inches away from the sides of the body, palms up. This is a good starting place, but if it's not exactly as comfortable as we like, we can make any adjustments we need until we find a comfortable place to rest. We'll allow ourselves to rest with the body free from effort and then allowing our mind the same opportunity to rest without effort in the spaces between thoughts. Shavasana. Let's begin to bring our awareness back to our body. Initiating some gentle movements. And now bringing our awareness to our breath. 
allowing it to deepen again. If we like, with our next inhale, reaching arms overhead to stretch it out again. And then melting into the floor as we exhale. And gently rolling to our side. As we feel ready, pressing up to a seated position. Drawing hands to our heart center. Taking this moment to acknowledge our investment in our wellness and in our practice. Offering gratitude for opportunities to share the practice together. And thank you so much for sharing your practice with me. Namaste.